Here's in a nutshell what causes diabetes. What you're looking at is a cell. This thing over here is an insulin receptor. In each cell is something called a glucose transporter module. Glucose is sugar. Okay? So when you eat a meal of something sweet that has sugar in it, what will happen? The sugar gets into the blood. The body has to get that sugar out of the blood and into the cell. The cell needs to be fed and the blood sugar can't get too high or you'll be in trouble. So when the brain senses this sugar coming into the blood from a meal that you've just eaten and blood sugar is starting to rise, what the uh, brain does is it signals the pancreas over there to start producing insulin. Insulin is one of the things the pancreas makes. Now that insulin, when it physically touches the insulin receptor of a cell, that glucose transporter module will merge its membrane with the membrane of the cell, poke some straws through. Now the sugar has a way of getting into the cell. That's the mechanism. That's the way it works. When the cell is sufficiently fed and no more sugar should be coming in, the straw retracts, the glucose module goes back to where it's supposed to be, and all is well. And the blood sugar level has come down accordingly. Now that's the way it works if you're eating a healthy diet. Let's say you're eating a diet that has too much fat in it. If there's too much fat in your diet, and we'll define what too much fat is later, but if there's too much fat in your diet, there's going to be too much fat in your blood. The fat here is uh, depicted by these little yellow globules. Now, if that fat blocks the insulin receptor, it can also coat the insulin, it can coat the sugar, it can coat the whole cell. But if it just blocks the insulin receptor, that pancreas can put out all the insulin that it wants to. The glucose transporter module isn't going anywhere, and that cell is not going to get fed. Not such a big deal, because a cell can skip a few meals. It's not a problem. But the big problem is, what about the sugar in the blood that's going to be building up? So the sugar in the blood starts building up. The pancreas is told by the brain to keep producing more insulin. When the pancreas starts getting tired, the brain tells the adrenal glands to make something to make the pancreas to put out even more. So now the adrenal glands are getting into the act, and they're getting all worn out. But the point is, the blood sugar is still building up more and more. And this is when you get a diagnosis of diabetes, type 2 diabetes.